any glory upon this place that he is worthy today. He's worthy today, and I thank God for everything that he has done. I thank him for where he's brought us from. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go off into prayer. Yeah. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. I thank you for this word. I thank you for this opportunity to stand before your people. I thank you, dear God, for using me. I thank you for increasing in my life, in my walk, and in my talk, dear God. I thank you for increasing in this house, hallelujah. I thank you for increasing my family, dear God, in my ministry, dear God. I thank you for increase in my peace and in my joy, hallelujah. I thank you for increasing, dear God, in my deliverance, hallelujah, and in my victory, dear God. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for there is nothing, dear God, the good and the bad that I don't thank you for, dear God, because I know if you bring me to it, you're going to bring me through it, hallelujah. I thank you dear God this morning and I give you truly all my praise, all the glory and all the honor dear God. You are truly worthy to be praised. Increase, continue to increase, continue to increase. I submit myself to you to decrease so that you may have your way in this house with this word over the body of Christ, over your kingdom dear God. How I pray dear God that nobody will leave out of this house the same way that they came in. Even though I know that the when I looked at the house this morning, they had joy in their spirits and they were anticipating on being in the house. They were anticipating receiving your word. I want them to go out of here better than that. I want them to go out filled with your word. Hallelujah. Make a difference, dear God. From this day forward, dear God, as we continue to grow in your word, as we continue to learn of your word, dear God, that you be glorified, hallelujah, in everything that we do. Hallelujah, dear God, to you this day. I bless you. I love you, and we thank you this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank God, and amen, and amen, and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Give God a hand praise this morning. Yes, Lord. I said give him a hand praise. Give him a hand praise. Hallelujah. Give him a hand praise. Hallelujah. I looked at y'all this morning, and y'all were anticipating being here. There's no way you can anticipate him being in the presence of God and not have a praise on your heart for him. Not have a praise in your mouth for him, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. You gotta praise God. Yes. You gotta praise him because he's the one that made the way. It wasn't nobody but him. Right. It wasn't my friend, it wasn't my mama. No. It wasn't my husband, it wasn't my child. My grandmother prayed for me, but God made a way for me, amen. amen. I said you better give him some praise amen. this morning. Amen. I said you better give him some praise amen. this morning. Amen. I already know. I already know amen. that had it not been for God. I already know that I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. I already know. Hallelujah. And I praise him because I love him and because he loved me first. Amen. amen. As we continue on in God's word, as we continue on in God's grace, as we continue on with grace to grow, wow. grace to know, and grace to do. Yes. As we continue on, y'all can be saved. As we continue on in his word <clears throat> in this new year, I'm constantly talking about a blessed year. Amen. Amen. Through the month of January, God has continued to put it on my heart and my spirit about making it through this year mm -hmm. in prosperity. Not just finances, but to not just be this, but to be a blessing. Amen. Amen. I, I, I Amen. want us to understand that, that there is no excuse this year. Amen. That God has said, even when he just flipped the script, script on me last night and changed the word and changed the praise and worship. I mean. <laughs> he said, you're going to make it. Yeah. He said, you can do this. He can say, you got this. He said, again, the same thing I've been telling you year after year, after year, after year, after year, that I made a way out of no way for you, hallelujah. That I made a way. And see, like I said, this, this, when, when I think about the goodness of God, I can't do nothing but praise him and thank him all at the same time, amen. Thank you. And like I said, and, and on last night, he changed the word up on me. But let me bag up for a moment. Let, just let me bag up. I would like to give honor to God for my pastors, Benny and, apostles Benny and Jackie McKinney, mm -hmm. Pastors Patricia and Orville Gray, out there in Marietta, Georgia, with Turning Point Christian Fellowship. Mm -hmm. I, I have to give honor to God for them Amen. because we're needed together. Amen. Amen. We're needed together. They encourage me and I encourage y'all. You see what I'm saying? Amen. We stand as one with God. They got me and I got them. 
him, amen. Mm -hmm. And because we're the body of Christ, we got each other. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. And I also want to give honor to Apostle uh, Anthony Blackwell, because we're a part of even a bigger network, mm -hmm. Mind, Body, and Soul, and Spirit Network, amen. amen. All of us are trying to be about our Father's business. All of us are trying to do what thus self the Lord. We're trying to follow after righteousness, amen. Yeah. Because we are children of the Most High God. We are ambassadors of Christ. We are blessed and highly favored. We are chosen. We are set apart for the Master's good work. We are, amen. Yeah. And on one, hallelujah, yeah. we walk with God. Because two cannot agree. They cannot walk together if they don't agree, amen. So, so I thank God for those that he has given me to help lead me. Amen. I thank God even for this family that I know for a fact will correct me when I mess up, amen. I thank God for putting people in my life that are not yes people. Not yes people, but blessed people. A yes person will tell you what you want to hear, but a blessed child don't tell you what God said, amen. amen. So I thank God for that this morning, amen. And I want to take a quick moment to invite everybody out to our Wednesday night Bible study. I, I have a Facebook congregation, amen. I say God has a Facebook congregation. And I thank God for everybody that sits weekly under the sound of my voice to hear God's word. But what we can't, what we don't preach about on Sunday, we learn about on Wednesday nights. That, that is just not a week or a day, a moment or a second that we can actually afford to go without God. Amen. See, and, and the only way we're going to know him enough to love him is to be about his business, is to seek his face. Amen. 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 Yeah. It's to study the word. It's to be in that book. You see what I'm saying? Not ask somebody, but to be in yeah. the book. Yeah. To be in his book, the good book. Yeah, the one that's written that's life and death. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Many yes. people can't inform you, but God's book can transform you. It's That's the only it. book That's it. that can transform you, amen. amen. The only book, I don't care how many self-help books you get. The word of God is the only thing that can transform us, amen. amen. The only thing. Amen. Now getting on into this word, hallelujah, this morning. It's worth, we're thinking about. Even, even the words of the praise and the worship we did this morning, and he had me to go back, to look back over my life. He, he had me to look back to see that even when I think things over, I had no reason to complain. He said, I don't care. We had some weary days just like Jesus did. We had some trying days just like Jesus did. We cried just like Jesus yes. did, amen. Yes. We went yes. down just yes. like Jesus did, amen. Yes. But who lifted me up? That's it. Yes. Who lifted me up? Because you see, the, the, the word, when I look at the word, 
And when I ask myself right now, where am I at? Every time I have a trial or a tribulation, I go back to God. Every time I get sick, I pray to God. Every time I'm worried, I come to God. Every time I don't understand, I come to God. So that lets me know that it's not about God. I mean, you know that God is who he said he is. You know that he can do what he said he's going to do because you keep coming back. You keep coming back. I don't care what happened in your life. How many times you walk away from God? You keep coming back. So I know you got faith in God. I mean, oh, you can't tell me you ain't got faith because you keep coming back. Yes. You keep coming back. Yes. So, so if I'm going to be true this morning, if I'm going to be real, God, you need this. It's not about my faith, it's about my flesh. Mm-hmm. We walk away from God on a regular basis because of the sex. We like to have sex. We walk away from God because we like money. We walk away from God because we selfish. We walk away from God because of our pride. Say we walk it. away from God uh-huh, because of the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye. Amen. Let's be clear about that. This is not because we don't have faith. It's not because we don't know that God is who he said he is. He can do what he said he's going to do. Let's be clear about this situation this morning. This All ain't right. got nothing to do with what God will or won't do. This is All not. Right. If you trust in me, yes, you ain't got to worry about me putting in shame. He said, if you follow my word, I will lead you into a successful path. If you so abide in me and I abide in you, you ain't got to worry. He said, cast all your cares on me because I care. He said, Yeah. This is the things that he said. That's what he said. Am I right or am I wrong? That's what he See, said. we know the word, we know scripture, we know that I'm right this morning. He said that those that worship him, those that serve him, must worship him in spirit and in truth. Let's be true to God's word this morning. Amen. The only way that you are going to be with God and stay with God is in the spiritual realm. It's the spiritual realm. Amen. In the spiritual realm. And be in truth because the truth is the only thing that's going to set you free. The truth is the only thing that's going to lead you right. Even when it hurts, yeah. it's all about the truth. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's all about the truth, amen. Yeah. It's all about the truth. Yeah. It's all about God. He is first. In the middle and the last. Mm-hmm. God is my everything. Yes, he is my everything. So, so let, let, me, let me ask myself, why is it? That I failed so many times because of my flesh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Why is it that I have been slow for sometimes because of my flesh? Mm-hmm. Why is it that I put God last because of my flesh? Uh-huh. Why is it that I miss my blessing because of my flesh? Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Why is it that I, I'm so confused sometimes because of my flesh? That's it. Let's be clear about the situation this morning. It's because of my flesh. It's because of my flesh because the word says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. So I'm talking about God right now. That's a spiritual thing. Am I, am I, am I right? Okay, so it's saying that. God said, guard your heart. Guard your heart. Because you know why? Your heart. Your heart is your throne. Your heart is your decision maker. Your heart is that that you trust in. Your heart is where the issues of life grow from. Your heart is where your emotions reside. It's your heart. And we run in that thing in our flesh. We don't stand back enough to allow the spirit to speak, the spirit to lead, the spirit to guide until we run into the brick wall. This is a repetitious sin. It's called willful disobedience, okay? Willful disobedience. Let me be clear about that. We are not uh, living a high life right now because of our willful disobedience. Because God said it in the beginning. That what he told us in the beginning, he's still telling us at the end. It's written, his word does not change, amen. All right. This is us straying away from the word. And he said that I wish that you would be cold or hot. Amen. There ain't no lukewarm in God. I wish that you would be no cold or hot because you've left your first love. We keep leaving him for the flesh. We can't think of it for our flesh. I ain't no shame in my game. I like what I like in the flesh. That instant gratification. It's not eternal, it's instant. And then we get mad like often over and over and over and over. We get mad over and over and over. We keep coming back to the same place over and over and over. We keep trying to stay out over and over and over. We keep listening to the darkness over the light. 
And God allowed people to come into our lives for us to learn. For us to be able to discern. Yes. For us to know the difference. Yes. And I told them Wednesday night, salt and sugar look just alike. You got to know which one is which. And then you got to know who's got your best interest at heart. You got to know who God is sending to you, amen, to bring you out. Not to distract you, amen. Not to distract you. The flesh is with, but the spirit is with it. Any little distraction coming, no matter where it come from. All right. Three. We run. Lay it there. We put our mouth on. 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 We act like we don't know that there's two sides to every story. We act like we don't know that there is good and evil. We act like we don't know that God's word and God's way is the only way, amen. We act like we don't know. And I'm saying that we act like that. Because we have been at this place over and over and over. I'm 56 years old. I'm 56. I'm glad to say that I'm 56. I'm glad to say that I know for a fact that God brought me through. But I'm also glad to say that I made a many mistakes. A mistake is when you do something one time. All right. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Repetition sin. Yeah, preach. It's what you do over and over and over. Preach. You repeat it because your flesh. Desires that thing, not your spirit. Because God gave us one of them for destruction, and He didn't just tell us, He showed us how many times do we step out? How many times do we step out on our own? Can you hear me now? How many times do we step out on our own to make sure the flesh was happy, to make sure the flesh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Let's be clear, you better give God some praise up in the house. I ain't playing, I ain't come to play. I never come in God's house to play. It's always a slay. Yes, it is. It's always going to be to slay. Because I'm going to have to shame the devil in his face. We are without an excuse, people. There's no reason in the world that we need to be in a bad place and not, uh, not where God wants us to be. I thank God that I'm not where I used to be. I thank, thank God that I'm confessing my sins and I'm making my to, to make myself whole. I yes. thank God that I can remain true to His word and allow Him to convict me. I yes. thank God that I can allow Him to chastise me. Yes. I thank God because I know that He loves me, so He tells me the truth. He does what's best for me, Amen. Yes. He does what's best for yes. me. Yes. He does. Yes. The enemy, He will tell you what you want to hear. He will give you everything that you need to see, but He don't tell you. What the cost of that stuff That's is. He, don't think, he always had the price oh. of that sin that you're walking in. He always yeah. trying to keep you on the DL. He want to put the demo switch on, amen. Mm -hmm. Demo switch. Oh. Let me put you in the amplified version, baby. Oh, hallelujah. Whom the son says free is free indeed. Amen. If you follow after my way, you yeah. ain't got to worry about it. Ask what you want to ask and I will give it to you. Yes, he will. But let's be clear. If you follow after the flesh and you do the deeds of flesh, sin, mm -mm, they've always told it, will cost you what you cannot afford to pay and keep you longer than you can afford to stay. Let's be clear about that. Let's be clear about the walk that we're walking, how I start off with God in January and I talk about how this is going to be my year, how I talk about I ain't worried about nothing this year and I'm going to leave my past behind. Baby, don't leave your past behind you. You keep that for remembrance. Yes, all right. You write that down. You need to always know where God brought you from. Amen. Yes, you need to always. I didn't say you need to keep it. I didn't say nothing about the hurts and the pains that you don't endure, that you have to have. We don't need to be a trash compact. We don't need to hold on to the hurt. We need to grab a hold to the jewels and run with the jewels, amen. Yes, yes, Jesus. Run with the jewels that we learned from yesterday. Yes, we need God. to exercise our right to be free, to be children of God, living the blessed life, not repeating what we did yesterday over and over, not holding grudges. It's like I said, a trash compact. Yes, Jesus. A trash compact. You got to let that mess go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Get God's glory. Give him the glory. Praise him. Praise him for what you've been through. Praise him for what you bought, what he bought you through, amen. Come on. Praise him for that. The weary days, the, the tears that we cried. Hallelujah. We've been broken to minister, amen. We've been broken to be free. We've been broken for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We've been broken for the fit for the master's use. We've been broken to be made whole. We've been broken to be set free. We've been broken. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have, but Jesus was too. Jesus was too. Who are you? All right. Jesus was broken too. Yes, 
But what did he say? Mm. Mm. Father, forgive them. They know, they know not what For they know not what they do. Mm. Mm. Take this cup mm, mm -hmm. from me. Yes. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Take this cup from me. But not my your will, your will be, done. be done. Not mine. Your will be done. Uh huh. Your will be done. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. Jesus had to guard his heart yes. in all things and in everything. Amen. Yes. He wasn't a trash compactor. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a trash compactor. Mm -hmm. He wasn't a trash compactor. He didn't hold that against us. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. He didn't yes. hold what we did against him, mm -hmm. against us. He didn't hold it. He didn't mm -hmm. hold it. He became power of attorney over us, and he gave us power of attorney over the enemy. Power of attorney over our flesh, amen. Yes, this is yes, what he did. He yes, gave us power of attorney over our flesh, yes. power of attorney over our sin, yes. power of attorney over the enemy. Yes. He did that. Yes. He did that. Yes. We were guilty so many ways and for so long, and we still got some guilt going on in our life, amen. amen. We were guilty. But Jesus set us free. Mm -hmm. He set us free. He took it on himself and set us free because he knew we wouldn't be able to undo what, he, what we did. Amen. He made a way and then he became our public defender. Amen. He stood up for us regardless of what we done. He stood up for us and he stayed with us. Amen. He promised to never leave us or forsake us. Amen. He made a way out of no way. He made a way out of no way. And then he said, let every tongue, hallelujah, that comes against you. Let's be clear. He gonna bring that sucker down. If it ain't right by him, he gonna bring it down. Don't worry about what one say because you need, it need to be two or three witnesses according to his word, amen. Right. It need to be two or three right. witnesses that, that right. they can't convict you. All right. He's already set you free. Mm -hmm. Where the spirit of the Lord is. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? There is liberty. Mm -hmm. We must break the bondage of sin. Break the bondage of flesh. Yeah. We must honor God in all that we do. He said, let everything that you do give me glory. Amen. Amen. Give me glory. We don't need to keep doing the same thing over and over and over because we're going to keep getting hurt. Yeah. More and more and more. Yeah. In this walk, it is started off in the Old Testament where he said, guard your heart. Guard your heart. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to let that man say, God, my heart, God, my heart. God, my heart, God. God, my heart. I got to guard my heart against myself. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. Uh -huh. I got to guard my heart against myself. Uh -huh. Because, again, that's the flesh crying out, trying to shut the spirit down. Amen. Mm -hmm. sure. When I think about the people that God divinely put in my life, to try me, to purge me, to purify me. I was supposed to be seeking him, getting wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and not always being mad and being so easily offended that these people have came against me. Because God, no, he tells me that if I got a problem, it's his opportunity to show up and show out in my life. He tells me that when I'm weak, that his strength is made perfect. He tells me. Uh -huh. That I walk and not be weary, I run and not faint. He tells me that with him I will mount up on the wings of an eagle. He tells me these things that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the only way that's going to happen is if I guard my heart. Amen. Because I'm going to put it to you like this in English. Jesus had to guard his heart when Judas betrayed him. Jesus had to guard his heart when Peter denied him. Jesus had to guard his heart when they hung up above that cross. He had to guard his heart and he still said, Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. Now let's be clear. All of them people that was in that circle watching him. I told you last week that heaven and hell both Wait to see what you're going to do. <laughs> Heaven and hell both wait to see what you're going to do because Jesus could have discharged his angels. Jesus could have got down off that cross, but instead the teacher came down from heaven to walk in my shoes to know what it was like for me to go through hell and high water, for me to know what it was like to be broken, for me to know what it's like for me to be betrayed, for he me to know what it's like. Yeah, no. Come on, somebody, All to right. be sick and can't yeah. kill myself because my money yeah. can't buy my healing. Yeah. My money can't buy my joy. Yeah. Yeah. My money can't buy my Amen. Yeah. He came down from heaven. Yeah. And he walked in my shoes and he went through what I went 
you, amen. Something he can not only tell me about it, but he can show me yes. about it. He can show me. Be ye doers That's it. of the word amen. and not hearers only. Because if you hear us only, you're deceiving yourself, amen. If you take it tomorrow for granted, oh, I'll get up and go to church tomorrow. Oh, I'll pray after a while. Oh, I'll. What has God said to us? Oh, I'll see about you tomorrow. Oh, I'll walk with you tomorrow. Which one of us can, 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 can firmly say that tomorrow is promised for me? That's it, right there. Who can say? It? Who can say that the next hour is promised? Who can say that I'm making up out of this church today? But will I be found faithful? Hallelujah. Will I be found faithful? Wow, well, I got an opportunity. Will I be found faithful? Am I going to do things different this year than I did last year? Or am I going to run after every man that come my way? Am I going to listen to what everybody else got to say about everybody? Because I keep saying, gospel about people is not a bonding tool. Come it's on. not a bonding tool. You don't sit around and talk about people with other people. You sit around and you pray. If you can't pray about me, don't talk about me. Yeah. If I'm in the wrong, hey. love me enough to set me free by telling me the truth. Damn Stand it. with me and walk with me. Damn be my keeper. Be my helper. Yeah. And if you ain't speaking the word of God, I don't even need to hear what you're going to say. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. Is it my flesh? Or is it my faith? I believe everything God said in that Bible. I believe that. But we have a hard time understanding that tomorrow I ain't promised. You need to do it right while you got a chance. You need to make everything that you wrong. You need to make it right while you got a chance. You need to honor God in everything that you do. Because if he called me home tonight, Well, I stand tried, tested, and proof right. in his word. All right. <laughs> Will I? All right. Will I stand? Mm. Who shall be able to stand? Mm. Hello, somebody. All Who right. shall be able to stand? Mm. We are his vessels that he has put here to walk and talk his word, his will, and his way. Not my will, but your will, Father. Okay, but what is his will for me? To be prosperous. Come on. All right. To have peace. Amen. To be in good health. Yes. To have unspeakable joy. Right. To know love like no other. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. What is his will for me? Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? To walk and talk. To be a vessel used for the master juice to help set people free. To help encourage them to stay with them when they're in need. Not talk them down, but to lift them up, amen. Yes, Jesus. Lift them up. What you put your mouth on? That flesh will make you do the wrong thing. It will make you say the wrong thing. It will call you out of the character of God, and you will speak things that are not pleasing, holy, and acceptable All right. in God's ears, and it is sight in me. And it is sight. If I'm saying, let's be clear about this situation, we mess up because of our flesh, not because of our faith. But do we really believe that God uh -huh, will make a way out that God will punish us? I'm so tired of getting whooped. I was so mad when I felt like I was strong enough that my mama didn't whoop me no more. I was so, so mad. Oh, I was glad. I was glad. But it didn't make no difference how old I got. Betty right. still stood firm and she said, I bought you in and I'll take you out. All right. Let's be clear about that. Let's be clear about that. Right. You, say, you don't never get too old. Come on. Right. For me to whoop. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's what my mama said to me. And that's the same thing God said to us. But well, why is it that we need to continue to get a whooping for things that we already know that is wrong? Because when I was a kid, and I know for a fact when I did something that I wasn't supposed to, and I got a whooping, I didn't do that no more. All right. All right. At least that's what mama thought. <laughs> Let's be clear. At least that's what mama thought. Mm -hmm. Just because I didn't do it in her face don't mean I didn't do it. All right. Okay. But God knows everything. Yes, yes. That's my point with that right there. God, he knows everything. Mm -hmm. God knows everything. It ain't no sneaking and creeping. Because God knows he saw you. He knew you was going to do it before you did. Yeah. He knows what you're going to say before you say it. Speak my word and make yourself whole. Speak my word and set yourself free. Speak my word and be healed. Speak my word and be joyful. Speak my word. Speak my word over your life. Speak my word over your kids. Speak my word. Over the body. Speak my word over your doubt. Speak my word. Speak my word. 
We want to hashtag and mute something. Let's mute that. that. Let's mute unbelief. Let's mute fear. Hashtag you mute the enemy, amen. You mute your enemy, amen. You mute your flesh. You mute your flesh, hallelujah. And ain't God's spirit be made true in your life. You walk after righteousness. You follow after his word. You submit to his word. You commit to his word. You do that. And make your own way prosperous, amen. Let your flesh follow your spirit sometimes. And see what God got to show you. He says, I have this one thing against you. One thing. You've left your first love. Every time we put God on the back burner. We left our first love. Every time we tell God, well, you know, I can't stand him, and I wish so and so happened to them. We put God on the back burner. We leave our first love. Every time we cuss somebody out, we leave in our first love because we are supposed to be created in his image. Like I said, Jesus guarded his heart. He didn't cuss nobody out. Jesus guarded his heart. He didn't keep repent sin. As a matter of fact, he knew no sin. And him died on that cross for us was to keep us from sin, to take sin away. Death away. It's your choice. Amen. It's your choice. I told you way in December, I think it was. Yes, this is going to be your year. Mm -hmm. My Lord. If you do what God said. Oh, yeah, this is your year. This is my year. Mm -hmm. Because I'm following after righteousness for my name's sake and heals too, amen. I'm going to do what I got to do when it comes to sacrifice. I'm going to sacrifice my flesh. I'm going to purge my own flesh. I'm not going to have to sit back and wait and say, well, God, why? No, it ain't why. It's not why. You ask yourself, you stand in the mirror and you show me my image. Let me see. Let me see that image. Let me see that image. When you're prideful and when you're bragging, let me see that image when you try to sneak. And right. let me see my image when you lie. Let me see my oh, image when you want to quit mm. and give up. Let me see my image. I need to see my image, and I need to be glorified in everything that you do. Mm. Mm. In everything that you do, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that you do. Hey, Shay, let's mute my flesh. Mm. Mm. Let's mute my flesh. Let's mute me. So that the Spirit of God can be revealed in everything that I do and that I say. Let me trust in God and not in man. Let me hope in the Lord and not in my material possessions. Let That's me. It. That's it. Right. Let me yes. call on God for where my help coming from. Let me not. What did he say? You blessed in the city. You blessed in the field. You blessed coming in and you blessed going out. All right. The work of your hands are blessed. The fruit of your labor is supposed to be blessed. Not mumbling, not crying. In order for you to actually climb, walk in your destiny, you have to be willing and you have to be obedient in order to eat the good of the land. You have to be willing to sacrifice your flesh. You have to be willing to let go of what we see in the natural eye because the natural eye will fool you every time. But my question is, why do we keep listening to the same lie that we listened to for the last 15 or 20 years? Why are we still easily persuaded by what happened last year, by wanting the same thing that we wanted last year, but we still talk about, girl, I'm blessed. You ain't blessed. All right. You are lying the truth ain't in you. You still hurt from something that you've been hurt for the last 25 years. You still stuck. Oh, girl, I'm opening him up, but you still ride by his house. You still looking on Facebook. You still watching his page. Hello, somebody. Let's be clear. You still sitting by reminiscing about the good old days. Maybe the best is yet to come when it comes to God. But you ain't seen nothing yet. Stay tuned. And watch God, amen. I don't do what I used to do. Oh, really? Well, why are you over here with Susan Sarah? God. Why are you over here talking about them? Why are you over here putting them down? Why are you over here, as a matter of fact, why are you over here telling their business? All right. Say it. Why are you telling their telling their business? Say it. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. On my Facebook 
page it in my messenger on a daily basis. Bad things happen all over the world every day. But what is, disturbs me is that people keep sending me and make this go viral. That so and so ought to be killed. Make this go viral. He did this. Make this go viral. Make yeah. this go viral. Make your prayer life go viral. Amen. 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 Let your prayer life go viral. Because you know what? This is my thing with that. When you you send it to me, and you want me to put my mouth on it, so that means that I'm getting myself caught up in some mess. That wasn't mine. It wasn't for me. It's for God. You need to be taking it to God because He's the only one that can change any and everything. That's it. You don't sit here and try to make me hate somebody because they did something wrong. Because guess what? I did some wrong in my day too. All right, y'all. I did some wrong. Don't gossip about me. Pray about me. That's Thank you. Give me and my situation to God and stop trying to get everybody mad and putting your mouth on stuff. And you don't know what. It's so much fake news going on on Facebook. It's unbelievable. You don't really know if these people did everything the folks said that they do. You don't really know that. It's two sides to every story. Two or three witnesses. Can you prove it to me? If you can't prove it to me, don't send it to me. Right. Don't send it to me. Hello, somebody. Amen. Don't do that. Yeah. I'm not walking with you. I'm not in agreement with you. I'm walking as one with God. I'm as one with God. Mm. Hey, with God. I want what God has for me. Yes. And if you pray for your enemies, yes. somebody pray for you and your family. Come you know on. that? Because I've been God's enemy and my family is still some enemies of God. When you pray for them, we like to pray. We like to speak the word of God over every situation and not what we thought or what we think, but what we know. And God said his word. It's his word. Whatever is in his word can make you whole. Whatever is in his word can change a bad situation. Whatever is in his word. Whatever is in his word. Oh, I, 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 I'm just, I'm going to just keep this on the DL. Uh, I, I'm going to just hold on to this. Hold on to it for what? For what? Let go and let God. If he's the author and the finisher of your faith, let go and let God. Don't hold on. The things that God said, let go, they cannot go. Unforgiveness is something that I honestly feel like everybody in the world has some in their lives. Unforgiveness. Roots to bitterness. Uh -huh. Roots to bitterness. You understand? Blind, regret, hurt. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. The only way you're going to have liberty in that is if you have the spirit of the Lord residing on the inside of you. But you must let go and let God. You need to understand, not my will, but your will. Amen. If we can stop and look in the mirror at every time that we don't forgive somebody, how many times have I betrayed? Oh, hallelujah. How many times have I betrayed God? How many times have I lied? How many times have I cheated? How many times have I gave up on God and he wouldn't even give up on me? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's be clear about that. We want a blessed year. A blessed year. A blessed year. Examine yourself. A blessed year is your choice. It's your choice. If you want what I got for you, you seek my face. You abide in me and let me abide in you. You follow up the righteousness. You study to show yourself approved. You look up to me. Look up to the hills where your help coming from. Yes, Don't worry about the times that you got to go down. Jesus went down and made a miraculous comeback, didn't he? Yes, he did. Let's be clear about that. Yes. What the devil meant to be bad, God meant to be good. He works it all out for your good. Those that love the Lord, it is. Mm -hmm. And even like David said, if I'm away on anybody, I'm away on God. I don't have to be in a hurry about getting what I'm asking and praying God for because I know the longer I have to wait, the bigger the blessing is going to be. I'm going to wait on God. I'm going to wait on God. I'm going to wait on God to watch his word manifest in my life because he did say again, I'm waiting to see my word manifest in your life. I'm waiting to make you prosperous. I'm waiting to answer your prayer. I'm waiting for you to call on me. I'm waiting. If we abide by God and in God, the wait won't be too long. The wait won't be too long. If we speak those things that are not as though they were, the wait won't be too long. The wait won't be too long. Guard your mouth. Guard your heart. 
the issues of life flow from your heart. Your life is supposed to be in God's hands. That's what we say. God, I thank you for bringing me through. God, I thank you for making a way. God, you did it. God, as soon as he do it, you gone. Yeah, he did it. And he's still doing it. And he's still doing it. Can you hear me now? See, God changed the script on me this morning. I didn't do that. I wasn't going to be like this. I was trying to serve this straight with no trace. I was trying to do that. But God said, this is what they need. This is what they need. And y'all know me long enough to know that I'm not going to bite my tongue. And I'm not going to beat around the bush with what God says. Is it your flesh or is it your faith? Come on. Is it your flesh or is it your faith? What has been your hindrance? All these many years, what has held you back? Is it your flesh or is it your faith? It's more your flesh than it is faith because I'm going to say it again. We keep coming back to God. So we know for a fact that our faith in him can't lead us wrong. We know that he is who he said he is. We know that he is for us. We know that he is more than the whole word against us. We know that he is. And will always be because he's Alpha and Omega. So what's leading me away? It ain't the waiting on God. It's the hurry up in my flesh. It's the hunger of my flesh. Not the hunger for God's word, but the hunger of my flesh. Uh -huh. The lust of my eye. When we do it the way God said do it, when we let go, and I said, when I say let go, I really mean let go. We should not continue to walk in the same thing that we have been in with no fruit and no evidence. Jesus rose, there is his evidence. And we can say, well, girl, I'm here, so here's my evidence. No, you're here because this is what God put you at. Right. You're here because he didn't give up on you. You're here because you sit on his time clock, baby. Say it. Let's be clear about that. Let's be clear. That God is the one and the only one responsible uh -huh, for me still being alive, for me standing in your, in your face, preaching his word. God, it's because his plan. It's because his plan. Yeah, all right. His plan. His plan. If I thought about it five or ten years ago, this ain't none of my plan. I didn't choose this, but what did God say? I told you. That's what he said. That's what he said. I, I told you. Yeah. Before the foundations of the earth, I told you. I'm putting you everything that I was going to need you to use all to right. reach my people. That's I let right. you go through what I needed you to go through. I let people hurt you. I let all that. But I blocked your death. I blocked your eternal damnation. I blocked your enemies. Yeah. I blocked them. Yes, I divinely designed. I divinely equipped. I divinely called. And I divinely manifest in your life when you do right by me. Yes. When you do right by me, I prepare the table before you in the presence of your enemies. I prepare the table for you. Not for your enemies. They don't have the opportunity to sit at your table. Thank you. See, God. I prepare the table. Thank you. Thank you. Strategically prepare the table. And strategically prepared your enemies to watch me manifest in your life at your table. Come on, somebody. All right. I did that. All right. Yeah. Let's be clear about that. They're not welcome at your table. All right. But I designed them to watch your table. I designed them to watch you be prosperous. I designed them to watch you go and declare my word. I did that thing right there. Because when I say no weapon formed against you shall prosper, that's what I mean. When I say that, if you be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. That's what I mean. When I say that, that your latter days will be better than your former days, that's what I mean. God don't change his mind about nothing. That's right. Ain't nobody. Is it your faith? Or is it your flesh? Who is to blame for what we got going, in, going on in our life that is not right by God? Who is to blame? Not my enemy. That's Not right. my enemy because God said no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So it's got to be my flesh. Mm -hmm. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. Amen. It's got to be my mouth. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's got to be. Say it. It's got to be. Say it. Do, do we understand? We are in our own way. We put our foot out and trip our own self up. We do this thing. We do this thing. Yeah, we, do. we do this. Examine yourself. Yes. Be true to yourself so God can be true to you. Yes, Lord. 
repent. He said, confess your sins to me. This is what he said. Did he say that? And he is just and able to forgive. But I'm not going to allow you to continue to do the same thing over and over and over. Because you know what I learned even as a kid? What well, one man don't like, another one love. Amen. If you don't want to do my will, <laughs> somebody, somebody must be. <laughs> somebody that I've been trying the truth. But I chose you to be too. I chose you to be too. I chose you. You didn't choose me. He said that. Let not my word depart from your mouth. You will make your way prosperous. You will have good success. If you abide in me and I abide in you, if you follow after righteousness, if you submit and commit to me, and if my people, because see, a lot of a lot of times we don't like to call sin a sin. So what does it what does it say in First Chronicles? And I know everybody knows this. If my people that are called by my name, everybody knows that scripture, don't they? Everybody know that scripture. And it don't make no difference if you're righteous. You should call by his name. You still got to humble yourself. Because it's going to be still stuff coming against you. It's going to try to make your flesh rise up. And God needs to be in control at all times. Amen. Oh, yes. I'm not now time telling you you got to walk a perfect life. Because it's impossible for us to do that. I'm telling you to do your best to follow God's word. And you can't follow his word if you don't know his word. That's it. If That's you don't stay in his word, if you don't study his word, his word cannot work for you. It cannot. It cannot. I got high hopes. I got plans for you. I don't need you to tell me my bill. My lights just got almost got cut off. But just in time, God gave me that $50 to pay my bill. God ain't about no $50. <laughs> he ain't about no $50. He owns everything. The cattle, the field, the jewelry, the money. He owns it all. You want $50 to pay a dog on bill. What is that? Be fruitful and multiply. Right. What is fifty dollars gonna do? Mm. What is he gonna do? Mm. God, if, if you just if you just get me out of this this I time, promise I, won't, yeah. I promise I won't do it no more. Mm -hmm. It sounds for me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah. God, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You want me to tell you how I know you went to do that? Because you've been there and done that already before, baby. Yeah. You ain't got a t-shirt. You got a wardrobe. And you got the marks in your hand just like Jesus did, baby. Let's be clear. Let's be clear about it all. Let, let me put it out there on front street, boo. You meant to do that. When you do it once, you make a mistake when you do it again. Sin. Wins. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, somebody? Yeah. Yeah. Say it. Okay, well, God... Okay, well, well, I, I know, I, I know I done did it. I, I, I know God. And, and I promise this time I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. And then the salt started to look like sugar. All right. Ah. All right. Woo. Again. All right. In another friend. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. Where is your spiritual discernment at? Better All right. Lie. See, <laughs> pay attention. Yes, Lord. I'm going to live a blessed year this, this year. Do you understand what I'm, can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. I know the difference between salt and sugar. Yes, I know the difference. Mm -hmm. It's not even in the same place on the shelf at the store. Mm -hmm. They separate. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> can, can you hear me now? Hey, man. Say it. Say it. Let's be clear. Make no mistake. God don't confuse you with nobody about nothing. All right. His word is true and tried. His word, he means what he said he, it means. Mm. It's written. It cannot be refuted. Amen. Amen. It cannot. It cannot. Mm. I don't care. Mm. Being mindful. Being protected. Making sure that you study. Making sure that you understand. It, that you focus. Yesterday. No, night before last, I called my mother-in-law's prescription in at Walgreens. Oh, grand and Malgrin. I called her prescription in. Okay. And she had to have a blood pressure pill, and she had to have a pill for her stomach. Well, 
I went and picked up the prescription yesterday. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. And um, she's got a weak pill box. Uh, mornings and nights. Morning, noons, and night only. Mm -hmm. And I fill up a pill box every, every week. Mm -hmm. Well, I look at the print on the outside of the bottle. Look at the paperwork that comes with it. Oh, yeah. And he said it was some blood pressure medicine. When I opened up the top, it wasn't no blood pressure medicine in there. It was some other little bit of white pill. You understand what I'm saying? All Just right. because a label is on it that says that I am don't mean it yep, is what it is. Amen. Right. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. All if right. I hadn't paid attention to that, if I hadn't been mindful of what my mother-in-law needed and took every day, if I hadn't been about my father's business paying attention to that word, I wouldn't be standing here today. If I hadn't been paying attention to her yes. and the right. medications that I give her, she have had something that could have probably killed her, and she have had a heart attack because it was her blood pressure medicine. It's crazy how this keep going back to the heart, ain't it? The blood pressure medicine. Mm -hmm. She have had a heart attack, and then I'm being up there looking like a fool. Why? Because I didn't pay attention to the word. All right. Hmm. All right. Because I didn't pay attention to the prescription. Mm -hmm. The prescription said, follow my word. Mm -hmm. Eat of my word, those that thirst after righteousness shall be filled. That's what it says. That's what it's saying. Just because it said that, oh, it's going to be different this time. Oh, I ain't the same. Or uh, it ain't going to end that way. You better get in there and make sure. You better make sure that this line upon line, precept upon precept, that the words didn't change because the situation changed. The words didn't change because the season changed. And I told you, I told them in Bible study Wednesday night, it's not only my season, but it's my due season. All right. It's my due season. All right. Hello, somebody. And I'm due for good works. I'm due for good. I'm due to be blessed. I'm due to be made whole. I'm due to stay free. Not be free, but to stay free. I'm due to be blessed. I'm due to walk in the high calling of God. I'm due to press forward on toward the mark. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm due. I'm due, baby. I'm not overdue. I'm due. This is my due season. This is my bless you. This is. This is what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And I honor God. Thank you, Lord. And I accept it. Thank you. And I'm a walk it like I talk it. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. My walking is going to be louder than my talking. Right. On this year, mm -hmm. I have made it up in my mind that I will not backstab myself. All right. Can you hear me? Yes. I won't backstab myself. Mm -hmm. Myself. Mm -hmm. Like I said, is it your faith? That's already old. Or is it your flesh that keep undoing? Is it your faith or is it your flesh? On this year, we got a bigger choice. We have something put on in the Amplified Version with no dim switches, no maybe or maybe not. It is what God said it is. It is. We faithfully try to come to church. This year, we need to be the church. 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 I said it once and I'm going to say it again. Service and church starts after you walk out of the doors. After you walk out of the doors. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only again. And not hearers only. Let God reign in your life. God your heart. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Can you hear me now? Say it with me. Guard my heart. Tell your neighbor, guard your heart. In this year, guard your heart. In this year, give your heart to God. And I said this, my legacy will go on. You know why? I'm a double fold blessing. You want me to tell you why I'm a double fold blessing? It's because of my heart. It's because I'm an organ donor. Can you hear me now? I'm an organ donor. When I leave this world in the natural, my organs will be donated for life to continue to go on. My legacy will live on, amen. And because I'm a spiritual being, I have donated my heart to God. Guess what? My legacy will go on because I'm going to stand and proclaim his word. Hello? Amen. I'm going to stand and proclaim his word. I'm a double fold blessing. I don't know about y'all. I don't know. Amen. But I am who God said I am. Yeah. And this year, he's going to show you and I ain't going to have to tell you. Can you hear me now? I said, he gonna show you. I ain't gonna have to tell you. I ain't gonna have to. When he say blessings will overtake you, watch God. Amen. 
Don't watch me. You stay tuned. Because this, you ain't going to want to miss. Hello, somebody. Let us all give praise, glory, and honor to God. Let us all rejoice in God. Let us all be thankful to God because he 